order on Tuesday, March 30, 2021 at 1021 AM. Uh, I'd like to do a roll call. And as I call the names of the board members, if you are present, could you say here so we can establish a quorum? Mr. Dirkning. John Dirking here. Taisha Brown. Alita Carpenter. <laughs> Ms. Carpenter? I see hasn't turned her microphone. There she is. I'm sorry. I was having difficulty finding my mute button. Um, <laughs> here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Mr. Hill? Mr. Maxey? Here. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Norton? Ms. Rooks? Um, Ms. Rubel-Calva? Thank you. And Ms. Turner? Here. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Yamaguchi, I believe that we have a quorum. I would like to turn it over to you to introduce yourself and the staff. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, with us, we have our AEO, Vicki Lyman, our Division Chiefs, Antoinette Wood and Candace Rainey, Marie Cordero, our SNAC, um, Doris Pierce, Maggie Archibald, Cindy Fairchild, and of course, our budget analyst and host, Vicki Saavedra. Thank you. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody for taking the time out of your day to come for this uh, special board meeting as we review uh, the response to the sunset hearing. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to Ms. Yamaguchi to uh, review the document. Thank you very, very much, Madam Chair. <clears throat> um, I hope the board members have had a chance to look at the draft that we sent last week. Um, and at this point, this is um, just by way of, of a reference. Um, as, as the board members know, we received the Sunset Review Committee's background paper. And this document ahead before you is in response to that. Um, our responses are built on um, our own policies, the actions that this board has taken, and um, the work we we have have um, performed over the past few years. So my recommendation right now. Um, oh, actually, let me backtrack once again. Apologies. <clears throat> um, the draft that that we have up on the on the screen here has had a couple of very small but significant um, changes. Um, board member Rubalcava very rightly uh, pointed out a few areas where we did not accurately or, or thoroughly put in the information about the site techs. Um, our friends at the department uh, made some, some additions, some clarifications and some corrections. So the, uh, the uh, version before you on the screen has a few track changes notations and um, but beyond that it's principally the same information uh, that we sent out before for the board to review so what i would recommend madam chair is that um, with with your approval that we would just walk through issue by issue and um, if you want to ask you know issue one and if any of the board members have any comments or questions, then we could just walk through the document that way, and then you um, you would ask for a vote. Madam Chair? Yes, I think that's an excellent idea. Before we do that, Ms. Yamaguchi, could you just briefly review for the board um, the steps of how this goes so that everybody understands um, the sunset review, our response, and then what happens next? Oh, absolutely. Thank you very much. Um, well, the process actually started way back in the fall of 19 
um, when this board and, and the staff developed our initial sunset report, tracing the, the developments of the board and the accomplishments from its last sunset review, which was um, mid 2017 through what, at least June 30 of 2019. Uh, we had produced that report and, and submitted it to the legislature. Um, originally, we were scheduled to be heard in spring of 2020. And of course, that didn't happen. So we were pushed um, back to this year. <clears throat> in the ensuing year, um, the committees did reach out to us and ask for a little bit of update and clarification, principally about our response to the pandemic. Um, so following that, we were invited to have a hearing on the 9th of this month. Um, I and, and of course our board president, Dr. Mountain, um, appeared before the committee and provided some testimony and answered questions that the committee had. It was, um, the committee was, was um, principally interested in, in a couple of different areas, um, essentially the, the largest one of which was our backlog in terms of approving new schools and programs. Um, but there were a few other issues, but the paper itself covered quite a lot more. It covered a lot more of the, uh, the overall BVNPT um, accomplishments and, and pending issues. So at this point, what happens is um, after the hearing, a board has 30 days to respond in writing to the, the committee's background paper. Um, and it does need to be approved. The response needs to be approved by the full board, which is why we um, have asked for today's meeting. Um, and just to um, <clears throat> add some foreshadowing, what I would recommend today is also, as we get to the end, um, assuming that there's not anything really, really different to present, my recommendation again would be for the board to approve the document in chief as as we notate um, some changes you know as we go through if, if any of the board members want to suggest any changes <clears throat> or clarifications hey, pardon me it's bad allergy um and my suggestion would be that as the executive committee is scheduled to meet on thursday um that we have the executives give a very last look at the finished product and we would be we would be sub submitting that version into the legislature um, on Friday the 2nd. Madam Chair, would, would, would any of the board members have some questions or, or comments at, at this point? Thank you for that so that we have a full understanding of exactly how to move forward. I appreciate it. Any other questions, comments? <laughs> right hearing none Ms. Yamaguchi shall we just go issue by issue um, I think that's probably the simplest okay uh, and for purposes of this meeting uh, issue number one is budget projections how would you suggest we proceed as we look at each one of these Um, my hope is that um, that the board has has read these for the most part, and, and also that a lot of this is really familiar ground. So, in the interest of time, if you wanted to just uh, introduce the issue and just call for questions or comments, excellent. And do we need to call for a question or comments from the uh, public as well, <laughs> um, Mr. Franson? <laughs> I think it would be sporting of you to do that, but um, I believe, I you did. there we go. I, uh, this is Ken Swenson. If the committee, excuse me, if the um, board proceeds through the document and has a single motion, then there need only be one opportunity for public comment. If there are, multiple motions along the way to amend or modify the document, then each motion would require a separate opportunity for public comment. Thank you for that clarification, Mr. Swenson. I appreciate it. 
And one thing I'd also like to point out is um, on the website, the agenda materials have some exhibits first, it looks like. And so yeah. what we're looking at now on the screen would begin at page 10 of what was actually posted on the board's website. Thank you. Thank you for that clarification. Uh, so going back to issue number one, budget projections, are there comments or uh, things that need to be changed, things that people would like to remark on? Okay, hearing none, we will move on to issue number two, uh, fund condition. Are there comments about issue number two, fund condition? I see no hands raised in the audience. Yeah, Excellent, I'm thank sure. you. Ms. Turner. Ms. Turner has her hand up. Go ahead, Ms. Turner. Yes, so I'm not, this may not be the place to put it, but I just wanna make sure that we note that we saved money by eliminating the identification cards. Uh, and I don't know how much that was worth, but, uh, and again, this is, I guess, what changes can we make in the future? But when we talk about what we've done so far, um, let's make sure that we list that because that was a, I'm sure, major cost savings. That was it. Ms. Yamaguchi. Thank you, Ms. Turner. Um, that's a that's a really good point. Um, because we stopped incurring that cost probably about 2018. I don't I didn't include that, but um, but we could certainly look into that. But um, time flies. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. okay. All right. Uh, let's move on to issue number three, governor appointment of executive officer. Comments from the board? Ms. Turner, I see your hand is still raised. Oh, okay. Seeing no comments, we will move forward. Uh, issue number four, online materials. Once again, I see no hands raised. I also see no hands raised in the audience. Thank you. Issue number five, NEC recruitment and retention. Um, back to, I'm sorry, issue four. We, sure. we continue to approve the meeting minutes and post them in a timely manner. Um, because that was one of our the complaints is that we weren't doing that consistently. So you would like that added? Uh, yeah, if it's yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, Mr. Swenson, is this a time when you need to call for a uh, public comment? I think it would be sufficient to note any amendments during the review process, and then the motion can be formulated in such a way that it would include all the amendments made. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay, we will move on to um, uh, issue number five, NEC recruitment and retention. Any, any comments? Uh, moderator, are there no hands? I see no hands. There are. Um, I will unmute Shalina Hardwick. Thank you. Okay. 
Ms. Hardwick, your mute, your mic is unmuted. You may speak. Shalina, are you having technical difficulties with your microphone? Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, greetings from Edwards Air Force Base here in Southern Cali. I am here because, well, I was in, uh, I'm a nurse, I'm an educator, I'm a national small business leader. And, you know, as nurses, we can run all those credentials all day. My only concern is this. It's been almost a year. I cannot teach nursing here in the local area to help develop new LPNs, LVNs, because my license is still pending over a year. Now, the government wants to know, how can I, as a military spouse, can I get a job? So, they can't I embrace care. me. So I'm, hey, hold on, I'm, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Real, real quick. Sir, my question is, question. sir, sir. This is not germane to the question. No. This is, this is, Thank you. Yeah, this is not, not, doesn't have bearing on what we're doing. My apologies. They had no and I had to unmute. All right. So any further going comments? Forward, uh, going forward, I recommend that we just take public comment at the end of the hearing today at the point where the motion has been made and there'll be an opportunity for public comment. The public comment will have to be germane to the question. And then Thank you, Mr. Swenson. The board, after the board acts, then there'll be an opportunity for public comment on matters not on the agenda. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we will move on. I see no further comments for issue number five. And we will move on to issue number six, licensing program improvements. Are there comments or questions from the board? Seeing none, we will move on to issue number seven, licensee email requirements. Are there comments or questions from the board members? Seeing none, we will move on to issue number eight, respiratory care functions. Are there comments or questions from the board members? Seeing none, we will move on to issue number nine, Fair Chance Licensing Act. Are there comments or questions regarding issue number nine? Seeing none, we will move on. Issue number 10, Indian Independent contractors. Are there comments or questions from the board? Seeing none, we will move on to issue number 11. BN and PT program approval. Are there comments or questions from the board? Seeing none, we will move on issue number 11, BN and PT program approval. Are there comments or questions from the board? Seeing none, we will move on to issue number 12, program approval fee. Comments or questions from the board? Zero. 
Ms. Turner? Question, questions. Um, should we mention that we did vote to approve, the board voted to approve some fee, imposition of fees and in there? Ms. Yamaguchi? Thanks, Ms. Turner. Yes. Um, the committee is well aware because we've been nagging them for three years, but um, the response to this is is the particular question of um, what what should go next. You know, what um, how do we mitigate those fees? How do we work with the the stakeholders? How do we, you know, it, it, essentially this is this is the compound question of um, assuming that there are fees. Should there be different fees for different in individual organizations? Um, should there be fees on the public institutions? So, because we've submitted, I think, a, a very comprehensive proposal, um, I don't know that this paper needs to discuss that. Okay. All right. So, you don't think we should say we voted to on it and we submitted a package and we're waiting for a response back? I just think we need to not mention it. If if the board would like to make to, to call that out, it's certain I could add that. You know, I read it. I read the questions, the information quickly. Um, it seems like it's appropriate, but again, if you think it doesn't belong there, that's fine. But I would talk about what the board has done to work on it um, to show we are, you know, actively doing something of significance. Happy to add that. It's not a problem. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Turner. All right, we will move on to issue number 13, program approval backlog. Comments or questions from the board members? Seeing none, we will move on. Issue number 14, barriers to licensure and employment. Any comments or questions from the board? Seeing none, we will move on to issue number 15, education, site, and fine. Are there questions or comments from the board? Seeing none, we will move on to issue 16, lack of clinical placements. Comments or questions from the board? Seeing none, we will move on. Issue number 17, clinical simulation. Comments or questions from the board? Seeing none, we will move on to issue number 18, enforcement case backlog. Comments or questions from the board? Seeing none, we will move on to issue number 19, audits of CE providers, comments or questions from the board. Issue number 20, formal discipline timelines, comments or questions from the board. Seeing none, we will move on to issue 21. Medical spas, comments or questions from the board?
Seeing none, we will move on to issue 22, COVID-19. Comments or questions from the board? Seeing none, we will move on to issue 23. COVID-19 provider mental health. Comments or questions from the board? Seeing none, we will move on to issue 24, technical edits. Comments or questions from the board? Seeing none, we will move on to issue number 25, sunset extension. Comments or questions from the board? Seeing none, Mr. Uh, Swenson, is this when we call for a motion? That's correct, Madam Chair. The recommended form of motion would be to approve the draft response to the sunset background paper as amended. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have a motion? I'm, Actually, I'm sorry, Madam. Ma Madam Chair, if I yes, may, yes. Um, just be, before you call for the motion, let me just uh, make sure I summarize the three, um, the three amendments that Ms. Turner offered. The first one being to check and possibly add the cost savings on the hard cards to point out the approved meeting minutes on the website and to add um, the language that the the board voted to approve our seeking out the fee legislation. That sounds good to me. Any comments or questions from the board on that? Yes, uh, John Dierking here. Uh, just a question of staff. Uh, would that change the uh, opinion or recommendation with the amendments? Uh, uh, Madam EO. No, it should not. Okay, then I, I would so move uh, with the recommended uh, amendments to approve the uh, draft sunset report. Do we have a second? Alita Carpenter, I second. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to open it up at this time for public comment. Ms. Saavedra, is, are there, is there any public comment that you see? At this moment, I see no further hands raised other than Ms. Shalina Hardwicks. Okay, thank you very much. So it's been moved and seconded to approve with amendments. I'd like to call for a roll call vote. Starting with Mr. Durking. Yes. Thank you. Ms. Brown? Yes. Thank you. Ms. Carpenter? Yes. Mr. Hill? Yes. Thank you. Mr. Maxey? Yes. Thank you. Um, Ms. Rooks? I thought Ms. Rooks was on. No, Ms. Um, Ms. Rubalcava is on. Okay, um, Ms. Rubalcava. Hmm. I'm not seeing her in the list. Oh, I guess she's on a phone. Ms. Rubalcava, are you able to respond? Yes. Can you hear me? We okay. Yes, we can hear you. My answer is yes. Thank you so much. And Ms. Turner. Yes. Yes. All right. And did you call Mr. Maxey? I did. Okay, great. So it's been approved by 
unanimous approval by everyone that is present. Wonderful. Um, let's see. So is it now time to call for suggestions for future agenda items? Yes, ma'am. All right. I am asking if there's any suggestion for future agenda items. Madam Chair, uh, could we yes, have sir. an opportunity for public comment for matters not on the agenda? Absolutely. Or, thank you. Let's open it up for public comment that is not on the agenda. Oh, Ms. Turner, you have a comment, please. Well, um, you know, I guess this is a separate document of the other set that included the bio. I just wanted to note it. My bio was not updated. Um, we sent you the information, I think, October 20. And I'd like to request that my bio be updated. Thank you. Thank you. Is there further comment from the public or the board? In regards to the public comment on items not on the agenda, the only hand I see raised is Ms. Hardwick's. Would you like for me to unmute? Uh, yes, and she can have three minutes. Absolutely. Hi, thank you. Microphone is unmuted. Yes, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, and you have three minutes. I won't be long, I'll take less than a minute. I thank you all for allowing me to sit on this call. I learned a lot from your board. Um, being a military wife, we travel a lot. Uh, so I love the work you're doing. The only frustration I just have is just, just trying to be able to help the state of California as an educator and as a nurse. So, I mean, great job. I just, it's hard to really figure out who to call. And when I do call, I get to run around. I have a lot of frustrated uh, airmen, uh, Marines, Navy, all kinds of people who want to take the test and, and, and give you the money to be a nurse. But now they're looking at other options of other states through other means. I have a lot of military spouses who like to be a nurse, um, but a lot of them come here and they're still waiting for the license. So I only ask that um, whatever future meetings you have going forward, to really, if possible, somebody can do a Six Sigma lean, I don't know, quality improvement of the process of how it is to be a nurse in Cali, because I can be a RN here, but I chose to be a LPN, LVN. So I can help the, the morale of most of my LPNs and RNs who feel like they can't do anything. And right now, a lot of them feel as if in California that a medical assistant, a CNA, and a pharmacy technician can give vaccines and do more than they can. And that just hurts my heart. So. I don't know, um, I would love to be a CE provider. How about I can help, volunteer? I just wanna help as much as I can because we don't have much time here. So I thank you for uh, entertaining my call, my questions, my concerns, my comments. And I didn't come off to be disrespectful. I come off of an educator who's tired, trying to help and don't know what else to do. And thank you. And thank you for your comments. It may be a little bit out of order here, Madam Chair and Mr. Swenson, but <clears throat> but Ms. Hardwick, if you would, this is Elaine Yamaguchi, the executive officer. If you would reach out to me directly, I would love to work with you to, to resolve this situation. Yes, ma'am. And I don't know how to, um, how do I get your contact? Could you email your, email your information, Elaine, E-L-A-I-N-E dot Yamaguchi, Y-A-M-A-G-U-C-H-I at dca.ca.gov. Yes, ma'am. I heard great things, so I will. I would love to email you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so uh, much. I look forward Thank to it. Thank you. All right. Excellent. Thank you. If there are no further suggestions for future agenda items, Ms. Yamaguchi, is there anything else before we adjourn this meeting? No, Madam Chair. We're we're good to go. And thank you so much, everyone, for your your time on a special meeting and for your attention to these very important issues. And thank you, Ms. Yamaguchi, for all your work putting this document together. And at the Sunset Review, you were represented the board very professionally and in an excellent light. So thank you. And if there's no further comments, 
uh, we will adjourn this meeting at 10.56 a.m. Thank you very much, all. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Recording is stopped, and thank you for joining.